Let's break down the four main types of lights in Prisma 3D. The skylight. This simulates ambient light from the sky. It lights the entire scene evenly from all directions and is especially useful for outdoor environments. Point light. Acts like a light bulb. It emits light from a single point in all directions. Directional light. Unlike skylight, directional light casts light in a specific direction, similar to sunlight. The light rays are parallel and cover the whole scene. Spotlight. Emits a cone-shaped beam of light from a single point. It's ideal for focused lighting like a flashlight or stage spotlight. I often use the skylight as ambient occlusion. I import it, set the time between 8 and 9 p.m., and reduce its shadow to zero to create a soft night atmosphere, like in the scene you're seeing now. Of course, it can also be used for daylight in outdoor scenes. The point light. In my opinion, this is the most commonly used light in 3D. It easily lights up areas, and increasing its range helps it cover more space. The intensity setting controls how bright it is. I also use it to create glow effects, which I'll show you shortly. Directional light. This works like the sun, but only in a specific direction. You can rotate it around to set where the light comes from. I don't use it often, so... There's not much more to say about it here. The Spotlight I mostly use this to create volumetric light effects, but it has other uses too. Now let me show you how to create a glow light and a volumetric light effect. Now, let's create a volumetric light. Download a volumetric light texture. Make sure it's actually volumetric. Import a plane and apply the texture to it. Set the transparency of the plane to 0 0.2. Under Material and Reflection, set Specular to negative 50. Rotate the plane downward, then duplicate it, and rotate the copies in other directions to form a light cone. Add a skylight. Set the time to 20.6. Add a spotlight. Rotate it to match the direction of your light cone and adjust the angle and range as needed. And there you have it, a nice volumetric light setup. That's it for this part. If you found it helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next one.